Hello. So today uh, I'm going to talk about retromolar trigon. So it's a very uh, short uh, lesson. So this is the picture showing the oral cavity. We'll just go through what are the parts. So we have the lips, we have the gums, the gingiva, we have the teeth, hard palate, soft palate, uvula. And from the bottom we got the tongue, that's the anterior two-third of the tongue, the floor of the mouth. And then between we have the and uh, they have the junction area, which joins the upper and the lower. That is the retromolar trigon. And behind that you have the uh, tonsils. And then uh, on the sides you have the buccal mucosa of the lip and the cheek. So those are about the basic anatomy of the oral cavity. Now we are going to talk about the retromolar trigon. So what is the retromolar trigon? So it is defined uh, as the triangular shaped area on the anterior surface of the ascending ramus of the mandible. So if you look carefully, this is the area. It's a triangular space or triangular area on the anterior surface of the ascending ramus of the mandible. So there is one area on either side. Its base is, in, is inferior and behind the third lower molar tooth and its apex is superior and behind the third upper molar tooth. So you imagine the space like that, a triangle, the base is in the bottom and the apex is on the top. And both the ends are behind the corresponding third molars. So the retromolar trigon is bounded laterally by the buccal mucosa and medially by the anterior tonsilla pillar. So I hope that has given a good picture. Let's go to see it again. As you can see, this is how it looks like. So when you're drawing a picture on this, it's better to draw the two upper and lower jaws with the teeth and the middle portion, which is the gum, which is in between, that can be represented in a triangular shape, showing that it is the retromolar trigon. Laterally, the buccal mucosa, medially, the anterior tonsillar pillar, and the base, which is inferior, is behind the third lower molar, lower third molar, and uh, the apex or of the triangle is behind the upper third molar superiorly. Now deep to this mucosa there is the pterygo mandibular rattle. So that's a structure which is right beneath the mucosa of the retromolar trigon. So what is the importance of retromolar trigon? So it's anatomically at the crossroads of the oropharynx, nasopharynx, the buccinator space, the floor of the mouth, and the parapharyngeal space. You can see it's right in the middle of all of these areas. A cancer at this site may invade the nearby muscles, the ascending ramus of the mandible, and the other structures like the soft palate, tonsillar fossa, and the floor of the mouth. So that is the uh, importance of the site. So tumors at this site usually has a widespread local extension in spite of the relatively quick diagnosis. So even a small lesion at this site may have already infiltrated into the adjacent areas. So the squamous cell carcinoma is the most common cancer at this site. So prognosis of cancers at this site is generally worse than oral cancers at the other sites. And usually, as you know, that the mandible is right behind it. So a mandible activity is usually needed for good or adequate clearance. I hope you have understood uh, what retromolar trigon means and you have got a brief understanding of its uh, importance. I thank you for watching this video.